All right, everybody, welcome back to another build, final, and review. Mostly a final and a review because I've already built it. So, this is the Lindbergh 1964 Plymouth Belvedere. This is Paul Goldsmith's number 25 Plymouth, 400 horsepower. It's the record setting stock car. It's actually the, um, the car that he won the pole with, the 1964 pole for the Daytona 500. So, it's got a nice box, nice little illustration of the model here. Flip the box around. It's got a picture of Paul and his car. A little history of Paul, which is kind of cool. On the side, it's got the detailed underbody and the motor, which, if you read it, is actually over-detailed. All those parts are not in this box. So, this is box opens from the side, which I don't really like. I am personally a fan of the ones that just lift up and you have the box underneath it. I don't know what they call those. The standard um, AMT Revell boxes. When I work on a car, I like to put the things in the, uh, the parts in the box and take from there. That's just my organization, but that's just my personal opinion. So, this kit here from Lindbergh, I know this is an older kit. Uh, it's been around for a while. Um, there's a Petty version of this car, which is very, very cool. I built this, uh, the Petty one, a number of years ago. Um, I know they also have out, uh, released the 64 Belvedere just as a regular standard um, regular car, which is super cool. I, there's, there's a lot of good builds on um, online of that. Go check them out. So this is the, uh, the 64 NASCAR driven by Paul Goldsmith. This kit is very good. It's very simple. It's very easy. It's a quick two, three day build if you're just building it really fast. So let's take a look at the car. Wah, 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 wah. Here we are, everybody. Circle this around just for you. Got the nice grill, nice bumper work. The body's clean on it, nice clean lines. Decals are very, very beautiful on it. Go together real, real nice. The glass pops in very nice. Standard 60 stock car. So, I don't have a lot to say about it other than this is a very, very good kit. Very, very um, easy to put together. I painted it just, this, um, I don't want to say standard, but it's uh, Rust-Oleum 2X Red. I don't think it's just bright red or cherry red or something. I got it from um, Advanced Auto Parts in their paint section. Uh, came out very nice over a, uh, just, um, just a gray primer. Um... All the chrome trimming was done by the Tester's Paint Pen. Big fan of that. Black washed grill. It gives you the clear headlights, and then it gives you the, uh, which would be for the standard velvet air. Um, and it gives you the, um, the knockout, blackouts, whatever you want to call it, covers. I painted mine black because I thought it looked good with the car. I also kind of painted the under lights black. Turn signal lights just because I thought it was cool to have them knocked out. The interior, I believe on the real car, is all red. I did it a white base, silver walls, black seat. It's got the cool seat belt in there. Seat belts are kind of popping off a little bit there. Dashboard's really cool. Um, black roll cage. If you've ever seen any of my videos before, I like to do my interiors different colors, lighter colors, because then it kind of offsets a little bit from the body, and then you can see it better. And I'm not exactly about um, being 100% authentic. I'm about being able to visually see things, visually appealing is a word I always use. So like I said, white uh, floor pan, silver sides, black seat, black row cage, black um, uh, dashboard. The wheels are semi-gloss uh, black Rust-Oleum. Um, the center hubs is just uh, silver sharpie. Again, the chrome work around the windows is the tester's paint pen. Decals are absolutely beautiful. They were a pleasure to work with. The decal sheet comes with a bunch of decals. Let me put this over here. Um, gives you different Plymouth logos, a bunch of sponsor stuff, and then it gives you some Petty numbers. So they're definitely Richard Petty style numbers. So those could be used for uh, something really cool in the future. Because I am a big Petty fan. And you got all the little sponsor stuff too. I, um, 
based mine off of box art or the placement of the de um, sponsor decals off the box art and uh, a picture I found Paul in his 64 Plymouth. The engine is a 426 Hemi. Lift this up here. Uh, as you can see, the inside engine bay is a different red. I was actually started using a different color, red, but um, decided I didn't like it, and so I went with the Rust-Oleum red. So that was the original color the car was going to be. I didn't care for it. So it's orange. The hoses, valve covers. I mean, little detail painting here and there. It's a very nice engine all the way around. Not much I could say about it. it this kit falls together. It really, really does. Underneath the car, carefully pick it up. Uh, the suspension goes together very nice. Engine pops in there. Rear suspension is very nice. I probably could have painted the shocks, but I did not. Um, I lost one of the uh, exhausts. There should be another exhaust coming out here. I know I painted it. I had it on my workbench. You know when you go back to the workbench and the pieces are missing? Yeah, that's what happened there. As you can see, the um, that red again that um, I uh, was originally going with, but did not. So if I find that exhaust, I'm going to pop that back in there. Not a big deal. A couple spots of glue in there, and then boom. Let's tip this bad boy over. This car, everybody, is a beautiful build. 1964 Plymouth Belvedere. This is the Paul Goldsmith's version. I, like I said, I know there's a Richard Petty one available through AMT. I know there's a 64 Belvedere um, regular street car. I can't get the hood back on there. Um, I uh, highly recommend it. I recommend you get it. Looks good with any collection. And uh, like I said, it's an easy build. So give it a shot. Go for it. And this is a quick review because, hey, I don't have anything bad to say about it. So go get yourself one. Go get yourself two. Go get yourself three. Everybody, that is my final end review for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment. You guys know how that works. I appreciate when you do like, subscribe, and comment. For my subscribers, I appreciate that you've already subscribed. So, the Lindbergh 1964 Plymouth Belvedere, Paul Goldsmith. Get yourself one. And I'll catch you guys next time.